Welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're diving into ServiceNow dashboards and data visualizations. This is a critical skill for any ServiceNow admin, developer, or business analyst. The end of this video, you will know exactly how to create a dashboard from scratch and configure powerful data visualizations to track incidents and key performance indicators. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming ServiceNow tutorials and join as a member to further support my videos and to keep the recordings coming. Now, we'll begin by exploring the platform analytics application inside ServiceNow. And Eventually, I am logged in using the PDI or personal developer instance. And as we navigate to the top left, we can type in platform analytics. And under platform analytics, you can navigate under library and dashboards. And here you'll also see modules like data visualizations, filters, and scheduled exports. Now to create a dashboard, as we click the dashboards under application menu and inside the content frame, you will see the out of the box, different dashboards available for you. And here you have the different filters as you navigate to the different tabs and it will show you the organized way of filtering the dashboards. And now let us navigate to the top right and create a new dashboard. And in this example, we'll be creating a demo using the inline and let us create an incident management demo dashboard. I'll just put DB and ensure that you write in the correct description. So this will allow you to remember and provide information for those other developers or who will be accessing the dashboard and report that what you have created and for simplicity. I'm copy pasting the title and let us move forward on creating a dashboard. And on the top right, you can create multiple tabs. Once you created a blank dashboard, this is your canvas. And from here, the multiple tabs I just mentioned will keep you organized. And as we navigate to the tab, we can decide to make the first tab will be an overview and press enter. And what I just did is just I click the edit button, typing in the desired title, and by just pressing enter, it will automatically save. And as we navigate to the right, this other tab, let's name it as additional KPIs. And as we do that, let's press enter. And this is an important tip. Remember to hit the save button on the upper right often because the inline editor does not auto save your work. If you finding this video helpful, go ahead and like this video. It really helps the channel grow and check out my full ServiceNow tutorial playlist. The link will be found at the end of the video as part of the end screen. It will give you step-by-step -step guides on the administration, scripting, and analytics. And don't forget to join as a member to keep the channel going. Now that we have a dashboard, let's bring it to life with data visualizations. And let us start by adding a single score visualization to display the number of open incidents. And we could do that by navigating and adding a new element. And you will see the different feature set. And Eventually, as we choose the data visualization, I further suggest for you to, to try the other features and don't be afraid to make mistakes as you invest your time in learning the creation of the dashboard. It will give you confidence. And since this is the time of your laboratory and growth, and as you make mistakes, you become a better person and a better dashboard report developer. And as we choose the data visualization, it will allow us to choose either we create a new one or an existing one already in the platform. 
And in this demo, I'll be drilling down to the new visualization. But on your own time, I'd like you to navigate the save visualization. And that will be your next challenge that will give you the ability to add additional reports inside the dashboard. And to give you a, a picture, a dashboard is a place where you could read multiple reports. So it's like a car dashboard where you could view the speed, the petrol, the performance of your battery, and so on. So it's the same concept as you create multiple reports or widgets, the small widgets, and you could add more widgets. It will allow the viewer, it could be an incident manager or a director who needs or would like to find out the performance of his company as an example, and it has great value. And as you build your skills in creating reports and dashboards, your value will be realized in building great dashboards. And as we chose the single score visualization type, let us save this um, dashboard. And for this report to show information, we need to navigate to data collector. So by the sound of it, data collector represents its purpose. So ServiceNow has jobs or data collector jobs that gets information from different tables and consolidate them into a single report. So this feature set is out of the box in ServiceNow. And what we're looking for in this example is performance analytics, which is PA, since we will be pulling dots for an incident and let us type in asterisk incident means any job that contains a name of incident. As we enter that, we will now choose this performance analytics incident historic data collection. And we could execute now and in my instance already did a while ago. And it should give you this report under job logs tab that the data has been collected. And it should take you about two to three minutes, depending on the amount of data that you will be collecting. And now let us navigate back to the dashboards by going to the history tab and let us navigate to platform analytics document library. And let's go to the recent and let us drill down to the incident management demo dashboard that we have created. Now that we have configured the visualization type, ServiceNow is making our life easier. And as you can see from top to bottom, it gives you the ability to configure what is needed next. And after choosing the type, of course, where is the information coming from? And that will be the data source. And as we have run the scheduled job already or data collection job, and now is next is to attach the collected information into the report that we have created. And now let us search for another out of the box report created by ServiceNow. So number of open incidents, and you will see the different categories. And this is what we want. And it is under the indicators and you can see the icon there where AI kicking in and suggesting the type of report that we're looking for. And as we click, let us now add this source on the lower right. And the next step is we can now add the metric and let us make sure that we have saved our data. And for some reason it has kicked me out from the canvas and let us go back and navigate back to the metric and do an edit. And on this metric, let us name it a seven day running average. And the aggregates is in short, it is an average or maximum minimum. So those are the aggregates. And what we're looking for is a seven day running average. And all of this is already out of, out of the box for you to utilize. And let us choose that and click apply. Now let us click save. And I just did a, a refresh of my browser and re-entered the data source and the seven day running average. And now the data now is basically 
now showing on these reports. And you have the ability to change the view by expanding and minimizing respectively. And as you change it, you will need to continuously click the save button. Now this chart that we created, we could change the title by going to the header and border. And now let us have it named and type in open incidents to describe it correctly and add a description and let us save the description and let us wrap the title. And as we wrap the title, let's save it again and let us scroll down and under additional settings, let us show the metric label. And as we do that, you will see the label has been shown and now we can save this dashboard that we have created. Now, when you're done in creating the dashboard, exit editing, and you can now admire your finished incident management dashboard completed with real time KPIs and trend metrics. And that's it. You've just built a ServiceNow dashboard and configured powerful data visualizations step by step. This is the foundational for performance analytics and will help you drive actionable insights across your organization. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your team and check out my full ServiceNow tutorials playlist at the end of the screen. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join button to keep the videos coming. I'll see you on the next video.